arising from sheltered compounds. Request support from airborne laser and additional attack operations assets. The airborne laser will be based in the continental U.S. And when given the command to execute the deployment order by JCS, can fly to anywhere in the world within 24 hours. On orbit at about 40,000 feet, the ADL will execute the mission in accordance with the rules of engagement authorized by the component commander through the C2BMC system. Once in the theater of operations, through Link 16 network-centric communications, the ADLs will receive the air tasking order for continuous surveillance operations with rotation of supplemental aircraft and crews 24-7. The ABL passive surveillance system is on constant alert, scanning for enemy missile launches from hundreds of miles away. Once the missiles rise above the cloud deck, ABL senses the very visible plume and initiates tracking. ABL can also accept distance surveillance cues from other sensor assets. The ABL's active ranging system measures the precise distance, angles, and speed of ascent. The ABL tracker confirms the track is a ballistic missile. The missile launch point is calculated and a track line is assigned identity number 01001 and is displayed on the situation awareness display. ABL is capable of handling multiple tracks at the same time. Through Link 16 network centric communications and the C2BMC system, ADL notifies the rest of the BMDS system that missile tracks have been detected and identified. ADL system software logic quickly determines if the missile qualifies for engagement. The highest priority target is handed over to the ADL beam control fire control system to begin engagement sequence. At the same time, an engagement message is shared with all through Link 16. Handover of the missile's track is made by the Beam Control Fire Control Acquisition Sensor through the ABL nose turret. A low-power active tracking laser locks onto the missile and tracks the nose. The weapon system uses this information to calculate the sweet spot on the missile skin where the high-energy laser will be focused. Simultaneously, the energy returned from another low-power laser beam is used to precisely measure and characterize the atmospheric disturbances between the ABL and the missile skin. The ABL beam control system makes real-time corrections in the focus optics for the high-energy laser. Finally, the multi-megawatt chemical laser is focused on the pressurized missile. The airborne laser is currently undergoing integration at Edwards Air Force Base in California. This revolutionary weapon system will soon become a reality. Boeing is the prime contractor and lead systems integrator for ABL. <laughs> 